Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. Today we're standing in front of um, another one of our ground up restorations here at Last Chance. This is a frame and engine drive line for a 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air. So the Bel Air is receiving a complete ground up restoration. Uh, this frame was also on a rotisserie. We sandblasted the whole frame and repainted the components. Um, and the body was on another rotisserie and we're making lots of progress on the body and the doors and so on. So I just wanted to do a, a brief, kind of point some things out and, and share with you some of the enhancements that we've done uh, on this 56 Chev Bel Air. So the first thing you're going to notice has the original engine, the 235 six cylinder or straight six. Um, the engine was completely disassembled. We checked tolerances on bearings and so on and they were worn and they were out of factory tolerance or where they should be. So we completely disassembled this engine. We prepared it and sent it to the machine shop and they redid the, uh, the cylinder bores and so on for us. And then it came back to us and then we reassembled the engine, painted it, and that's basically the stage we're at now. I'd like to share with you just some of the subtle little details that we've done on this 56 Bel Air engine. So you'll notice it's the correct blue for 56. Um, it, we've, we've upgraded a couple of little things in terms of just minor, like the, the, the breather air um, oil cap on the top. Um, you'll notice the line here that we made, this is a, a lifetime warranty on this, the nickel copper style uh, metal tubing. Um, this is the original carburetor for 1956 and it was completely rebuilt. And then you'll see this really nice, uh, it's a reproduction of the original and it's a General Motors reproduction uh, fuel filter which is a really nice detail. And you notice the copper fittings, we've cleaned um, all of them up and done that properly and we have the GM uh, paper filter inside. Um, along the side here you'll notice we've got a reproduction uh, Blue Flame 140 which is the correct decal, it's a reproduction decal for it. Uh, we've got uh, upgraded high temp wires, uh, coil, you'll see the detail when we reassembled the engine we painted everything separately so you'll notice that the all the cork gaskets and the copper gasket head gasket and side cover gaskets uh, there's no overspray or paint on any of those components and I think the camera can probably pick up the cork and so on along the sides. Um, so this is a nice little detail that we like to do. We've replaced the vacuum advance, it wasn't working on the original engine and uh, we've uh, replaced the fuel pump and you'll see once again we have the new, the nice fittings and the, the copper line. Uh, in terms of we've got new engine mounts here, we've got new transmission mounts and then the chassis, um, we've, we've, the client has chosen to go with uh, the normal chassis black. It's not quite as shiny as the, the frame behind that you can probably see. So this is a 56 Bel Air um, and we've done it in a satin which is traditionally what it would come with from the factory. The frame behind us, uh, which is a, a higher gloss black, is what the client has chosen and that's an 87 Chev truck. So um, depending on the type of build, um, we basically have a plan with the client of what sort of finish, how shiny would you like it to be in terms of detail. So getting back to the Bel Air, in terms of the suspension and steering and braking components, this 56 Bel Air originally had four-wheel drum brakes. Um, you'll notice now we've enhanced it with a power disc brake conversion kit. So from in behind you can see we now have a new vented rotor and it's cross-drilled. Uh, holes there for cooling. You'll see there's a caliper adapter kit. Uh, we now have uh, a, a really nice disc brake conversion kit installed. Um, in terms of the upper and lower control arms, we've replaced the springs and all of the seals and we have the correct shims once again for adjustment. We have new clips and new uh, brake flex lines. Um, so all of the bushings, ball joints, um, all of those components have been replaced along with idler arm, pitman arm, and so on. On the side, I neglected to mention uh, the starter. It's a rebuilt starter and solenoid, and we have the correct label uh, on the side of that. Um, in the front, just minor little things, the water pump. Uh, you'll notice the gaskets here, these copper-colored gaskets. We never like to 
um, overspray or paint or assemble everything and then paint. Um, we prefer to do it correctly and paint the new water pump separate and then uh, reassemble it um, as it uh, as it should be in the front you can see the harmonic balancer has been degreased cleaned and painted uh, the fan other than being really dirty um, it's been sandblasted and repainted so everything looks factory correct as it should um, a little bit shinier um, in terms of uh, overall paint finish than it normally would have been in 56 um, you'll see the intake and everything has been redone and painted correctly and we have a completely rebuilt uh, generator and uh, once again you can see the mounts the new shocks and so on so uh, we've got the um, optional oil filter canister which is an option in 56 so we've added that and we have the correct fittings and correct supply and return lines and then I think if the camera goes around the passenger side you'll notice the transmission which we can't show really that much um, uh, but this is uh, the original three on the tree or three speed manual transmission. We've reworked all of the linkage. Um, we've replaced the seals and so on. And the rear seal is also new. And then you'll see the transmission mounts. They're brand new and uh, they always tend to break down and split. So we've got new transmission mounts. Everything is painted the correct color, uh, which is nice in terms of detail. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, the shifter linkage and everything is correct as it should. So this is just another one of the vehicles that we're building here at Last Chance Auto Store. So this is a 56 Chev Bel Air with the original six-cylinder engine. And I'm John from LastChanceAutoStore.com.